guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So this is going to be a food shopping haul, however, I did go to the shop without doing a meal plan and it just goes to show you, you'll see by the end of this, how much a meal plan plays a huge part in like getting all your food shopping that you need. I know that I will be able to use this stuff for probably around a week or just less, but I will have to go to the shops and get a few things to add to this to make a full like week's worth of meals, snacks and lunches. So without further ado, let me unpack the shopping. I've actually separated this into two bags. This one here is all of the stuff I got from Iceland and this stuff here is the stuff that I got from Marks and Spencers. Now this food shopping came to £60. It was literally like a 30-30 split in each store. Um, slightly more actually in m and I think it was £32 that I spent but I did get some really nice stuff so I'll show you that in a second and then I got like massive amounts of juice um, typical Scottish behaviour over here I've got some Iron Brew Extra which if you haven't tried is the business love Iron Brew um, but yeah anyway let me just jump into this video if you're new around here then welcome my name is Ash I make three videos a week on this channel on a Tuesday, a Thursday and a Sunday I would love if you guys hit subscribe and make sure you stick around for the rest of the week and without further ado let me just unpack the shopping and I'll show you everything that I got <laughs> Okay, so here is everything unpacked. This is all my MS side and this is all of my Iceland side. I'm just going to show you everything that I got and then how I'm planning to make meals from what I've actually managed to pick up. So there's like literally such a contrast because all the MS stuff is really, really, really healthy. And then over here, a lot of this stuff is healthy ish, but it's like freezery things and snacks. So it's not a lot. I mean, on first glance, that is really not a lot for 60 odd pounds. However, these vegetable stir fry bags are my absolute favourite thing at the moment. I'm obsessed with them. You get quite a lot in them. There is 450 grams worth of stir fry vegetables already pre-chopped. You literally take five minutes to make these. Um, and usually, I would even say you could get three people's or four people's portion out of this, just depending on how hungry you are. If I'm having the stir fry just on its own without any rice or anything with it, then I will have half a bag of this with my husband and split it. Um, the kids even quite like this as well, to be honest, as long as they get the veg that they like um, and that they're familiar with. They're not a fan of the bean sprouts. However, they do love like, the broccoli and the cabbage. So I got two packets of these. And then I also got these on the offer. So I don't know if you've noticed this, but in M&S, at the very beginning of the store, they've got like a small stand and it's called Market Food. So they'll have all of their market selected items for the week um, and they're always 65p regardless of what it is. So last week we got a coconut, avocado and apples and this week they've got green beans, small tomatoes and also fair trade bananas. So I just picked up these three. They're also very good dates. I mean that's like giving me what five days? That's giving me six days. Quite a lot of good dates in that little range um, but good for 65p. I think that's quite a decent offer. And then moving over here, I've also got some sauce for my stir fries. These were a pound each. Um, and again, the dates are pretty decent here as well. You can also freeze these, um, which is good because when they go on offer, you can just buy a few of them and then freeze them and use them when you need. So I've got the sweet soy, garlic and ginger, which is probably my favourite one. I've got teriyaki and I've also got sweet chilli for when I do salmon. Sometimes what I'll do is have the vegetable stir fry with salmon on and then use the sweet chilli sauce. Really nice. Um, moving up here, I've also got some iceberg lettuce for making wraps. I've also got some skinless chicken breast fillets. These are the big pack that's £6 for five fillets. Or is it four? Yeah, four fillets for six pounds or 6.50 and then I've also got some scare yogurt this stuff is like the lowest calorie highest protein natural yogurt that I've got um, oh, let me just show you in the back for the values so per 100 grams it's 65 calories and that is giving you 12.2 grams of protein which is pretty good going so I use this for having with even some protein powder mixed through it and some strawberries or I do overnight oats or sometimes I just have it on its own or I use it for making pasta sauce that's low calorie and high protein and then I've also picked up some skimmed milk so this is just your regular 
Scottish skimmed milk and I actually bought a small one only because I feel like when I get a big milk I tend to use more of it but when I've got a smaller one I'm really really like careful of how much I use just because I don't want to run out which is good because I'm trying to cut down on milk and not having too much of it so yes I've got some of that and um, over here I've got some coleslaw because I like to put this in my wraps just a little bit and um, it's the reduced fat coleslaw um, and it's 185 calories Pair half pack so it's pretty good I only take like a little teaspoon of this and pop it in my wrap and then talking about wraps these are the chicken packets that I use these are the nicest chicken breast like cooked flavoured packets ever they're three for seven pounds so they're not like mega cheap but I would just have that out of the packet it's so nice the barbecue one is my favourite they do it in peri peri they do it in sweet and smoky they do it in God, what else have they got? They've got loads of different flavours, Mexican style, they've got lots of them. But I just like the barbecue. And then I've also got some chopped ham for the kids' sandwiches. Um, and for their sandwiches, this is the bread that I get. So I've got the super soft wholemeal um, because it's like small slices, not too much. And then I've also picked up some sausage rolls because these are really handy to have in for lunches. Um, and these are £2. And then over here, I've got my M&S soft tortilla wraps. Do you know, I always get the white tortilla wraps because I think if you're going to spend that much calories on a wrap anyway, it may as well be white. I feel like there's actually like two calories of a difference between the whole grain one and this one. So I just get the white one as like a treat um, and I love it. So I've got some white wraps. And then moving over to my Iceland stuff. Now, I got this big massive, what is it, 24 cans of Iron Brew Extra. Um, this is like Coke Zero, but Iron Brew version. So it's no calorie, no sugar, but it still tastes like the real stuff. Um, so it's good if you're obviously dieting. So it's nice to have a wee can at night time when I'm watching Love Highlands. This is what I've got. This was £6, which is a good deal for all of those cans. And something else that was £6 were these. These are the 30 cod fish fingers from Bird's Eye. Um, I just got these big packs because it's really handy to have in, especially if the kids have friends coming around for dinner. Um, I like to always have a freezer full of stuff just so that I've got options if we do have little visitors for tea. And talking of which, I get potato waffles as well. Now, to be honest, I didn't know this was a real thing, but you can actually toast these in your toaster and it still makes the same. So if you're ever stuck for time and you're looking for a quick dinner, you can toast these in your toaster to make them and have them with beans and it's a really, really quick dinner. And those were one pound. I also got these because I get conned into them by Ella. It's just like little McCain's faces, but they're unicorn shaped. I picked up these little mini sausage rolls from Greg's. I actually love the sausage bean and cheese melts they do as well, they're so good. I also picked up the Happy Monkey smoothies, they do them in there for £2. I think Asda also get them in offer sometimes for £2. So I picked up these for the kids as a little treat. And something else I like to have, just in case we're having a rushed morning, are brioche rolls. So I've got these chocolate chip brioches, they were £1. also got the Nestle Munch Bunch yogurts, there's six in a pack here, so you've got like strawberry, apricot and raspberry, um, and there's this movie, it's Spies in Disguise. Kids will love that. When's it on? Doesn't even say. Then I also got a 15 medium free range eggs from there because we go through eggs like no one's business. I feel like if we don't have milk, bread and eggs in the house, our house falls apart. Um, and talking of bread, I also got these Warburton Stins because I love these. They're only 100 calories for making like into like an egg sandwich in the morning. It feels like a real treat. So I love having them when I'm dieting. And last but not least, I'm moving on to the crisps. Got some Monster Munch. These are the mixed variety ones. So I've got roast beef, pickled onion and flaming hot. And they are only 108 calories per pack, which is decent. And then the last pack of crisps I got were these oven baked ones by Walkers. And again, they're only 109 calories, so not bad at all. And they're the sea salt ones, which are pretty decent. So guys, that is everything that I got from the shops today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you subscribe to my channel, you will see a lot more videos coming your way really soon involving like what I eat in a day to lose weight, how I track my food, and also just some cooking videos as well and what my family eats in a week. So make sure you hit subscribe to see them. And I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.